Hey everyone, Tech OG here representing those who are 40 and up with other tech. And just wanted to make this quick video to um, let you know about something that I caught wind of. Um, another product that GPD, the company GPD is making. GPD, um, that acronym stands for Gamepad G Digital, and they're known for making uh, micro mini PCs that are gaming PCs. Um, they're known for the Win 1, the Win 2, the Win 3, uh, the Win Max with different processors that play uh, enormous amount of the games, emulators, for, and, and different platform games like PC games. Great system. I've owned a few um, over time and I really like GPD as a company because they were the very first to introduce a very workable, playable uh gaming PC that you can fit in the palm of your hand. Awesome stuff. Caught wind of this particular product that's going to be coming out soon. Right now this is a preview campaign that they have on Indiegogo or a preview of their campaign that they're going to release on Indiegogo very soon. Don't know the, the exact date yet but man it's going to be awesome because this particular product let me increase the zoom it's a little bigger is going to be called the Pocket 3, or full name, the GPD Pocket 3. That basically means there were two pockets that were made before this. I guess the word pocket means it's small and manageable. This is going to have an 8-inch screen. But what makes this stand out more than any other product that they have, this has a couple of features that they've never had on previous devices that they're introducing on this device. This particular one, I mean, you can watch the video, you can go on uh, YouTube, because this video here that's on the Indiegogo preview page is on YouTube. You can type in GPD Pocket 3 and find a couple of videos on this to see what, what it does. But the couple of features that I like about this, um, and let me go to this article right here that was written by Brad Listener, Linder, excuse me, um, on his uh, site called Lily Puting. The GPD Pocket handheld computer will be a convertible tablet. Convertible, which means it's similar to the One Mix 4 that one netbook made. The lid can flip, but this flip lid does something different than the One Mix 4's lid. The One Mix 4 can flip 360 degrees. This one does a little bit different. Let's take a look at these pictures here. This is the look of the GPD Pocket 3. If you've seen this layout before, the way this picture looks, this layout looks very reminiscent to the One Mix 4. How ironic but cool is that when the One Mix 4 was released by One Netbook, they made it in a uh, uh, picture looking like this to show how it looks in tablet mode. So you can take the uh, screen and flip it basically one hundred yeah 360 degrees to have the lid flip over lay on the back of the PC so that you're gonna have it in tablet mode and it has pen support let's take a look at the GPD pocket 3 picture interesting pretty much the same layout they copy straight up from that picture just use different wallpaper so it's basically like the one makes four where instead of the lid just folds you can actually swivel the lid, where the lid can fold over the keys, protecting the keys. That is exactly what I wanted the One Mix 4 to do, because with this lid just flipping all the way around, the keys are still exposed. So if you have this in tablet mode and you have the screen up, the keys will be on the table, which means that they can get damaged. But with the Pocket 3, the screen swivels. 360 degrees or you can lay this flat down over the keys and like I said that's one feature that's no it has been introduced in the pocket too the swivel feature however the pen has never been introduced on any GPD product and that's one thing that I really wanted GPD to have and they're finally doing this with the pocket 3 they're introducing a stylus so it will have pen support and the pen support type will be MPP which is Microsoft Pen Protocol 
which means, and Microsoft owns that pretty much, which means you can use any Surface Pen on this device. Are you serious? Any Surface Pen. Get them. Get the one with the eraser. Get the newest one. I don't know if the Slim Pen will work. Probably it will because I think that's um, MPP technology as well. You can probably get, you know, try them all out. I do have one at home. If I decide to get this, or hopefully if I can get a review unit of this, I can show you if the Surface Pen works on this device. Because it should, because again, the pen support is, or the pen type is MPP. And that's for pretty much all the Surface Pens. So, a pen support, big plus GPD for adding that to your lineup. Um, that's not the exact one. That's a different computer. As you can see, it swivels in this picture here. Thank you, Brad, for having all these pictures. The pen support, that is fantastic. I don't know how they're doing it, but that's great. Another thing that makes this absolutely fantastic, this is going to be a sort of a modular PC. Modular meaning you can take um, the port, which is going to be uh, detachable, and you can add a different port to that attach or to that um, slot. So it's going to have different port uh, attachments that you can add. So you can have a serial port, which is the port that you would have the, the pins for those older uh, monitors. You can have a USB and a KVM input or port. Don't know what KVM is, but I'll learn about it. And you can have an HDMI port module on that as well. And there's only one port that you can that's on the device that you can swap parts with. Too bad it's not more. But let me see if I can make this bigger. Or increase this picture. There we go. That's the serial port right there. So you can add a serial port, and as you can see right there, that is the opening to put in the different uh, modules. So you can have a bevy of different ports to put in that slot, which is really, really awesome. I think that's really cool. Okay, let me get rid of your ads, Brad. Sorry about that. Can't watch the ads right now because I have class in about 10 more minutes to talk more about this device. And this is going to have a choice of two different processors. You can have the choice between the Pentium Silver and 6000, or you can get, oh, look at that, a Core i7-1195. Of course, the best choice is the Core i7. Anything Core means power. I don't know what that is right there. That doesn't look like power. Core i7, straight power. This Core i7-1195 can also be found in... Um, some really cool current devices such as the One Netbook 1X Player 1S. You can have the 1195 in that one. And if you know about that particular uh, PC, it plays some pretty hefty AAA PC games. Which means that this computer can do the same thing if you choose the Core i7 um, processor. So those are your only two choices. And with the Core i7, it will have Thunderbolt 4 capability, which means that you can connect monitors up to 4K 60 um, hertz uh, refresh rate, or can have with the Thunderbolt port, an 8K monitor with a 60 uh, hertz refresh rate. So not 120 hertz, so it's not going to be buttery smooth, but great enough for you to play your games and not have a lot of blur. That's going to be awesome. So, Brad also listed some uh, features and specs. Um, don't even pay attention to the N6000 unless you don't have the money for the 1195. I definitely suggest you get the 1195 for the best experience of this PC. It's going to have 4 cores, 8 threads, 2.9 gigahertz base, up to 5 gigahertz turbo. So this is going to run pretty great. 25 watt TDP. Wow. So it's not that hot. It's not going to get as hot as the processor in the 1X Player 1S, but hot enough for you to have some good frame rates when you're playing your games. 96 execution units, that means it's gonna run pretty fast. Um, really cool specs, it is screen, like I already said, for the first time, 1080p resolution. Usually on the devices, you will have 720p. Now you got 1080. Good job bumping it up, GPD, awesome. 
500 nits of brightness. So don't know how bright that's going to be when you're outside, but hopefully it will be readable. Hopefully you won't have a white background because that will impede on reading when you're in a uh, bright environment. And look at this, 16 gigabytes of RAM. I told you this version right here, not even worth your money. Eight gigabytes RAM? Who has eight gigabytes these days? 16 gigabytes is like the norm of PCs. And you're gonna have um, a 2280 M.2 NVMe storage, so that's gonna be fast storage. Um, one terabyte of storage, inbound. But who knows it, when someone gets this review unit, They'll take out the back to see if you can swap out the storage. Hopefully you can. And hopefully you'll be able to put in a double-sided storage where you can put in a, either a four terabyte or even an eight terabyte SSD. That will be awesome for a computer this size. Thunderbolt 4 capability, uh, two Gen 8 uh, type, uh, USB type A ports. That's awesome. And I think these are, for, these are the modules that you can add. So I don't know if they're actually included, or I don't even know if the uh, modules are included. I don't know if you have to pay for them separately, but if they're included, then you have a bevy of different ports that you can have. Even Ethernet, that's awesome. And a mil uh, 3.5 millimeter j jack or port for headphones or microphone. Wi-Fi 6 out of the box, Bluetooth 5 out of the box, which is great. A nice keyboard, probably gonna be as good as the one netbook one gx1 this is one of the best keyboards i've ever typed on on a mini pc so hopefully the keyboard is going to be like that uh tpm 2.0 need to figure out what that is fingerprint reader that's going to be awesome active fans of course especially with the uh, 1195 core i7 processor you're going to need uh, fans to blow all of that heat that's going to generate from that processor, especially when you're playing AAA games. And other things that are not important. The weight, 725 grams. Um, I'll convert that on Google. It's not going to be that heavy, I can tell you that right now. But look at that. That looks awesome. So with the Bluetooth 5, the Wi-Fi 6, this is going to be a very capable PC. My 1GX1 that I have right here, that I sold on eBay, but returned because the person didn't like a certain blotch that was on the screen that I didn't say. There it is right there. Doesn't bother me, bother him. Oh well, I got it back. But this right here is a 70 screen, so it's gonna be slightly longer in length than the um, 1G1. The keyboard though, oh man, looking at the keys, the keys look flat. They look as flat as the one netbook keys on the one Mix 4. So the keyboard is not gonna be as good as this. This keyboard, these keys are phenomenal. The spring action is fantastic. I really love this keyboard. That right there looks reminiscent to the One Mix 4. I probably will not be happy with this keyboard. But still, just the features that this particular PC can do makes it worthwhile to get because again, GPD is introducing pen support on this. It has uh, 1080p and has modular ports. Those three things right there are worth the ticket in getting this device. So you can read more in Brad's um, article here, get uh, some different views and different opinions of what he thinks about it. But like I said, in my personal opinion, get the 1195 when it comes out. But that's all I need to say about this. I'm excited about it. I probably won't get it. But hopefully if I get a review unit, I can talk more about it and compare it to my 1GX1 and other mini PCs that I have. But that's all I wanted to say to you about it, just to give you when that it is coming out. So um, make sure that uh, you go on Indiegogo, or actually I'll leave this link for the preview so that you can save it so that when they do launch the campaign, you can be one of the first to get this device. So if you like my video, definitely leave that thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Tell your friends about my channel, and I hope to see you in my next video.